Hi, Sean here. I want to go through a really cool illustration. One of the things I get from when I just meet people in general, and I talk about tax liens and tax deeds, and they talk about how long I've been doing this, and they go, yeah, but what happens to the economy going up and down in this way? And it just doesn't matter. And I'm going to explain that very clearly with this. We've got two properties that are about two and a half blocks from each other about the same square footage, same neighborhood, same school district, the whole nine, the rent's about the same, okay? So property A over here is literally for sale for $315,000. Property B is gonna be sold at a tax deed sale. So let's start on property A. In order to buy that, you'd have to put 20% down. Conventional financing, you're looking at $63,000. Plus, let's say $15,000 for some lipstick and some makeup to make it look good to get it rented out. Okay, so now you're in at $78,000, okay? Rent in these particular areas is approximately $1,900 for these properties. Or you've got a gross revenue uh, annual basis of $22,800. Now you gotta finance the balance on this one over here on the right. So if you're financing $250,000, give or take, uh, your principal and interest is gonna be $1,667 plus taxes. So after all of your costs and everything, you might net net $233,000 if everything goes perfect, okay? If it all goes well, let's go to property B, a tax deed, literally two and a half blocks away. Fair market value on that one is about $347,000, but you can buy that at a tax sale for $40,000. Let's say it needs the same lipstick and makeup, $15,000. So now you got a total of $55,000 on it, but you own it free and clear. There is no mortgage. You rent it out for $1,900, you still get $22,800 in gross revenue, which goes into the hip pocket, what we call the bank of the hip pocket, right? Zero mortgage on this, plus you're walking away with literally $300,000 worth of equity. A or B? You know, the real choice is yours. And that's what's out there. Now, here's the crazy thing. There are over 500 tax sales going on each and every single month. There are over $400 billion in uncollected property taxes out there. A lot of you have been watching my videos for a while. I've got these step-by-step -step of finding the list, doing the research and all that. But this is why when people talk to me, they're like, oh wow, is this is too good? No, this has been around for 200 years. The other side of it is, when I've got deals like B over here, and I'm making $300,000 net, how many of those do you need to do in one year to set your family on a financial path of freedom? Not me. A or B? I'm going with plan B. This is Sean Higgins. Like, subscribe, comment. Love you. Thank you.